are on an expedition around India to discover 100 unique and iconic motorcycles. Motorcycles will define the face of Indian motorcycling. This is Indian 0200 motorcycles. Few motorcycles can match the bullet in popularity. Even fewer can come close to the cult following it enjoys. It is the longest surviving motorcycle lineup from the longest running bike maker in the country. Royal Enfield, quite literally, has defined generations of riders. Love it or hate it, but for sure you can't ignore it. Well, so as you can see, I'm astride this iconic motorcycle, the Bullet 350, and this is a cast iron one. Now the thing is that it's not as easy to start as the more modern motorcycles. Uh, so let's see what it takes to start this bike. So you switch on the ignition, obviously. Then you have, go, you have to see the amp meter. I think this is what it's called. It should be, the needle should be in the middle or in the green. Uh, fortunately for me, it is in the middle. Let's see. Man, I mean, it's still in red, but I'll give it a kick. No, it didn't start. So obviously, this is a very accurate amp meter right, that we've got here. I'll give it another shot. Okay. Yes! A success! And now, if we come closer, we've got this little thing here, which is the uh, neutral finder. It's kind of a quick shift to find the neutral quickly. And the main thing is that after riding so many motorcycles, I got to remember that the gears are on the right and the brake is on the left. And the, gear, the shift pattern is one up and three down. So I gotta remember that. Okay, let's go. The main characteristic of the cast iron engine, I believe so, was its sound. And I, I will be very frank that I also used to know this bike by its sound. So I'm delighted to being able to ride a cast iron Royal Enfield. Now let, let's get into a little bit of history for this motorcycle. I mean, this is a Royal Enfield. And the term Royal obviously suggests that this has to be from the British origin. And it was uh, until uh, it was bought by India. And actually it was being imported, the kits were being imported and assembled in India for the Indian Army until about 1950, early 1950s. In 1955, the first factory was actually uh, settled uh, in, in Chennai. And from there, it was publicly available for the Indian people to buy and then it started exporting back around the world. As far as the sentimental value is concerned, the bullet can rival even the likes of the Harley Davidson. And even though Royal Enfield has moved on to the relatively more modern engines, the cast iron continues to attract the purists. A lot of terms being associated with the bullet like made like a gun, Shanti Savari. Probably the way you see it is like you don't care about the world and you sit like a king on this with your legs wide open like you don't care bringing on bring it on attitude but you got to give it to this that there's nothing like the bullet on the road from the unforgettable bullet we now present one of the most popular beginner sport bikes in the world the kawasaki ninja 300 Ninja, a word, a concept, originating in Japan and usually associated with a person who is highly skilled in the art of stealth, camouflage and espionage, was given a new meaning by a motorcycle manufacturer, Kawasaki. And this word has spawned a generation of motorcycles that are some of the most popular and successful sport bikes the world has ever seen. Alright, so obviously this green thing which is there in front of me has to be a ninja. And this is one of the greatest brand building exercises that has been undertaken by a motorcycle manufacturer. Making uh, green synonymous to being a ninja in the motorcycle world. Right now I have the Ninja 300. Now with me is uh, Tulsi, which uh, the proud owner of this green ninja. I am green with Enway. Tulsi, uh, what about, why did you, you know, get this motorcycle? Right, uh, from my childhood, uh, 
I used to practice uh, martial arts. When I practice martial arts, yeah. uh, I was thinking about ninja. Yeah. Uh, so whenever I think about ninja, usually I thought of becoming a proper ninja. But uh, later I couldn't become a proper ninja, so I thought of buying a ninja bike so that I'll become a ninja. So <laughs> it is the first motorcycle in its category which featured a slip assist clutch. It isn't the most powerful motorcycle in its category anymore. But for many riders out there, it sure is the most beautiful one. Styled very close to its bigger siblings, we wouldn't mind agreeing with that. The reason why they call uh, their fastest bikes uh, the Kawasaki, uh, they decided to call it Ninja. Now they have uh, from the 300, I think, all the way to ZX14R, which is uh, perhaps the fastest production motorcycle in the world now. Just that little faster than the Hayabusa. So there we have it. Uh, so Tulsi, like, uh, do you uh, do you also tour for long yes. on this? Uh, yeah, I do uh, tour on this. Uh, especially when it comes to engine, it is very smooth and it is very you know uh, precise uh, when riding uh, this motorcycle. I've never seen any uh, smoothness in other bikes. So thank you so much. Keep riding safe. Thank you. Thank and Ninja, obviously, this guy got a great legacy, so you got to keep the bike, right? Thank you. Thank you so much. No matter how many motorcycles come. The Ninja will always remain the most vital member of the quarter-litre segment.